and gentlemen, I am retired First Sergeant James Christopher Hart, uh, one of the primary instructors here at Blackman High School Junior ROTC. Hi, I'm Sarah Major Sanders, and I teach JROTC at Blackman High School, and I teach the Year 2 Cadets. Hi, my name is Colonel Jeffrey Lee Gaylord. I am the Department Chairman and Senior Army Instructor for JROTC Blackman High School. All right. First Army Park. Yes. What interests you into wanting to teach JROTC? I've always had a passion to work with the youth and to help the youth become better citizens. So I felt it in my heart that this is where I wanted to be and where I need to be at this time. What interested me in teaching JROTC was in 2005, my son was a high school student here, freshman at Blackman High School, and he signed up for JROTC and I saw what the program did for him and I was very impressed with it and how it taught him to be a leader and it gave him responsibility and discipline. And when I saw what it did for him, I made the decision at that time that I wanted to teach JROTC after I retired from the Army. That's a very interesting question. Um, after serving 30 years in service and sacrificing a lot for my country, I spoke with one of my senior mentors and he said that I needed to keep serving my country in no better way than teaching leadership, coaching, mentoring um, our young people to be better citizens, which happens to be the mission of JROTC. So that's why I'm teaching JROTC, trying to give a little bit more back of myself uh, to our youth and our future of America. What progress do you wish to see in JRTC? Well, we definitely want to see growth in the program. We want to see more involvement. Uh, right now, I think we have about 10% of the population. If at all possible, we'd like to see it increase a little bit more. Also, we want to make sure that we uh, provide some constant leadership and motivation and uh, just you know, basic mentoring to our youth, uh, helping them make better decisions overall. The progress I would like to see after I leave, because this is my last year, um, my eighth year here, and we've made a lot of progress since I've been here. And I would like to um, see the continuation of females being in leadership positions. Um, and I would like to see the continuation of cadets graduating from high school and going on to go to college or trade school or join the military. Well, there's a lot of things I wanna see happen in JROTC. The world is an ever-changing place. Um, when I was growing up, we basically did everything with a stubby pencil and paper, and now we've become very automated. We've got a lot of social networking, but I feel like JROTC can be a happy medium with taking automation, social networking, all that kind of good stuff, but still teaching responsibility and being good leaders in this ever-changing world. How has JRTC changed you since you started teaching? Oh, well, I've gotten older, <laughs> I can say that. But uh, no, seriously, it, it's actually uh, helped me understand what today's youth has to go through. Uh, we understand that every generation has their challenges, but you get to see hands-on. And at the same time, it helps me stay connected to the youth and also within the community. So I am uh, more than glad to have the experience and be able to be in a position down there right now to aid and assist. How has it changed? Wow. The program has grown so much that when I got here, we only had two instructors and the program has grown tremendously to um, allow us to have three instructors now. Well, it's changed a lot. We now have a brand new curriculum, um, which has become um, more automated, it's been more updated. It is more relevant. It's teaching skills for our young people of today to be able to be good leaders in an ever-changing society. Um, what we taught at the beginning five years ago um, has been updated and I think it is more relevant and it appeals and it, it actually allows the cadets to connect with the lesson more effectively and actually gain more from it. Um, so it actually, it, it, it connects them to the learning and their way of life and what, the way they live in society today. Do you have any advice for loved ones? Yes, loved ones. Um, 
we know that high school is new and we know it can be challenging, but the main thing is, is that we need you guys to listen, pay attention as much as possible, and just stay motivated. Find a reason why that you chose to get in the program and stay the course, don't give up. It'll get better, but just gotta listen, pay attention, stay motivated. The new let ones, my advice is to come into the program and ask questions and don't be shy. Um, look for a mentor uh, in the class, either a let two, three, or four, and um, get very involved in JROTC. Join a team, one of the teams, or volunteer. If you don't want to join a team, then volunteer to help with our program. We always need volunteers to help with activities. Well, I have a lot of advice for let ones. First and foremost, um, be yourself. Um, be comfortable in your own skin. Um, don't try to impress others. Respect your instructors and your teachers um, because we're here to help you. And um, respect yourself and your fellow students. And most importantly, enjoy and learn and get the most out of school.